Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, which is an educational community for people learning Lightroom, and Photoshop, and photography and lighting and stuff like that. And today I have a trick for you. It is a kind of a film noir look. You've seen this look before, but what it does is it makes it look like kind of light is coming through some window shades on your subject. So here we are in Lightroom, we're in the develop module, and this is an incredibly easy trick to do. Here's what we're gonna do. Step one is we're going to, well, in this case, I think I would make the image black and white. So let's just click on the word black and white here. All right, so that starts, that's step one. Step two is to darken the exposure. So you have to kind of darken the exposure for those beams of light to come through. So we're gonna just go down and lower the exposure, something like that. Now we're just gonna create our beams of light. Click on the adjustment brush. We're gonna take the exposure and slide it up to some random amount. We'll get the right amount later. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold the shift key and we're gonna draw, we're gonna paint lines of light at a 45 degree angle. And we're gonna vary the size using the left and right bracket keys, all right? So that's the size of the brush. Right bracket key makes it bigger. Left bracket key makes it uh, smaller. And that is to, those are to the right of the letter P on a standard QWERTY English keyboard. All right, so let's make our first beam here. We'll make it kind of small. We're gonna start here, click once, hold the shift key, and then click again to make our light beam go across there. Then we'll make our brush a bit bigger, and we'll click over here and make our light beam go to there. Then we'll make a small, tiny little beam here and go across here. Wow, that's a harsh little one, isn't it? And then we'll go up here with a kind of a bigger one and go down there. Maybe one more just for fun, a big one down here. Okay, so there's our beams of light coming across the image. Now we can choose, of course, the intensity we want these beams right here. All right, so if you wanna crank it up quite a bit, what you might wanna do is this, is go over to sharpness and kinda of drag it to the left so it takes a little bit of the harshness out of the light. So they're already kind of soft because we're using a soft edge brush, right? But uh, it, that'll kind of help take off some of the heat and you could even lower the clarity a little if you wanted to kind of just soften the whole effect. But I'll just toggle on this one, toggle it on and off and there you see. And you can leave larger gaps than I did between the light if you want. And of course you can control the feather which is the sharpness amount of those beams. So if you wanted it to be a little more intense, of course you could just lower the feather amount and then the edges of your beams would be harder instead of softer. And so, anyway, there you have it. It's a pretty easy, quick little technique for doing that. Hey, just want to mention, uh, if you didn't catch Christy Shirk's Lightroom Portrait Retouching class, I talked about it earlier in the week. Make sure you go to kelby1.com, search for Christy Shirk, K-R-I-S-T-I, and uh, or just search for Shirk, and uh, you will find it... Uh, her class is amazing. You're going to learn things about brushes and retouching and stuff that you can't even believe you could do in Lightroom. It's an incredibly popular class. Hope you'll go check it out over at kelby1.com. If you're not a member, you can just take the 10-day free trial and watch Christie's class right this minute. Be a great, like, you know, nighttime project. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll catch you next time.